Project Veritas. I recall them from the Acorn investigation that they did where James O'Keefe, who is, I guess, the founder and one of the lead, well, he used to do investigations, um, went into one of the offices, literally dressed as a pimp and got uh, funding for, you know, him and his hoes. And so... <laughs> And so the way it was presented on Comedy Central, I didn't particularly take them all that seriously. Then I learned they actually had gotten Acorn's uh, funding pulled. And I was like, whoa, I mean, what? Now, years later, after the um, social media investigations that they've done, and they've done a few other investigations with which were rather eye-opening, I gotta say, they have a ton of credibility in my eyes. And when it comes to CNN and um, the media, they've been going hard. And today they released this video, which talks about how CNN is just completely enamored with getting rid of Trump. And who, it, as you can see right there, Jeff Zucker, the boss at CNN, um really presses for them to have this uh agenda and push for um you know just ever any and everything that they can use to keep trump's name in their mouth so without further ado we're going to get into this video and as usual i'll be cutting in Uh, my name is Kerry Porch. I'm a satellite uplink technician. I'm a contractor at the CNN Washington, D.C. Bureau. But Jeff Zucker, yeah, basically president of CNN, has a personal vendetta against Trump. It's not going to be positive for Trump. He hates him. He's going to be negative. Uh, I decided to wear a hidden camera. <laughs> And I cannot agree more with Mr. Gonzalez over there. I mean, they kept the camera fixated on his podium before he even said a word. The moment he hopped in the race, they were just like Trump, 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 because they knew it would. Uh, drive ratings and that's been their game plan ever since keep his name in our mouths keep um, driving ratings regardless of how much nonsense we spew into the um, and put into the world and put into the ether I mean think about it the Stormy Daniels thing uh, Michael Avenatti all uh, uh, uh well actually when it comes to uh, russia gate msnbc was just as nuts rachel maddow over at msnbc was just as nuts as cnn but i mean every time that they've sat there and said how you know we got him we got him this is going to be the one this is going to be the one yeah it's usually cnn the cnn's narrative driving it and that's the thing about news a news and narrative don't particularly mix very well because there's supposed to be a, a balance. There is always a balance to each side of every story. But one of the things that we'd like, we just automatically assume is that our news media is, you know, handing us facts when nothing could be further from the truth. I decided to secretly record the 9 a.m. rundown call meetings, and it's basically run by Jeff Zucker, the president of CNN. We're moving towards uh, uh, impeachment. I mean, don't, like, you know, we shouldn't pretend, oh, this is going well. Let's just keep it going. Let's just When I came to work at CNN, I mean, it was my dream job, and that dream actually just turned into a nightmare. So I, I must say, I'm on Instagram front. I know that there's a lot of people at CNN that are friendly with Lindsey Graham. Time to knock that off, and it's time to call him out. And that's the thing. It's not like I'm a great champion of Lindsey Graham at all, but these are the orders coming from on high and if you don't follow these orders you lose your job and a lot of these people make really good money and they're not going to want to why would you risk it 
I mean, what, what, the truth? You'll be off the air the next day. You see how quick they got rid of Ed Schultz over at MSNBC. You see how quickly, you know, you'll see somebody say something real and never hear from them again on their networks. Why? Because their networks are ag- are, are agenda driven. What's going on in America now is really fundamentally uh, the result of years uh, of uh, fake news, conspiracy, uh, nonsense from fake out from Fox News. And then they use Fox News. I cannot sit here and say this enough. Fox News currently, in its current iteration, is not what it been during the Rupert Murdoch era. If people... Just remember that the that the Fox was one of the first like before Me Too was a thing. Fox News got hit and Fox News got hit hard with a uh, baddie Angela Tintero, uh coming out and saying how you know it was sexually assaulted, not sexually assaulted but harassed, um, and tons of different females coming on out. So Fox News completely flipped their script. And when it comes to fake news, I mean, it, 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 we, it used to be that MSNBC was left, Fox was right. And CNN was some was somewhere in the center, but during Obama's presidency, you know, both MSNBC, um, CN- and CNN went to the far far left, and um, Fox they were on the right. But like I said, at drawing towards the end of his presidency, Fox News had a complete overhaul. So right now, their run like I, I wouldn't put them past anything like Clear like Clearwater or Sinclair Media Group at this point. And I'm sure they have their own narrative to push, but Fox News is not what Fox News used to be. He was calling Fox News fake news and a propaganda machine. And with what I saw, I'm like, that's pretty much what CNN was. Like, it's just pumping out propaganda. Uh, the, the, the fake conspiracy nonsense that uh, Fox has spread for years uh, is now deeply embedded in American society. And here he is. He's just like, you know, and I don't think and all this other real dictated dictator a dictatorship type uh, situation that they got going on over there. I just wanted to own where they're at. Like, hey, dictatorial. That was the term that I was looking for. Dictatorial. If we if we lean left, cool. Let's just say we lean left. If we lean right, let it be known. But I, again, it just dovetails back to that thing. I just want people to have the information to make up their own minds. He's known Trump for a long time. Like, they worked together back during The Apprentice. And hates his guts. Let's start the uh, yeah. anti-Trump crusade. What was it like the morning after this past election? But that day, like, man, just at 6 a.m. in the morning when I came in, like, the mood was just so sour the whole day. It was a f***ing dreary day. I bet at Fox it was, like, euphoria. CNN likes to call itself the most trusted name in news, but that's not the story we heard from a CNN insider who blew the whistle, recorded everything, and came to Project Veritas earlier this year. Would it be fair to say that you being here today is is it is it's not politically motivated? That's correct. I it's not politics that motivates me. It's basically me wanting the news to be what they used to be, news, and not a um, infotainment or a game show or chasing the ratings like get, like CNN purports it to be facts first. And that's clearly not the case. Kerry Porch has worked for CNN for two years. He says when he started, he had high hopes for the job, but he quickly became disillusioned as he was exposed to rampant anti-Trump bias at the network. I noticed after, again, this is fairly rapidly after I started, within the first three to six months, that there was a strong group think that permeated through the halls and that everyone was on board the, you know, I hate Trump train or I want to, you know, basically go after anyone, you know, on the center or on the right politically. Porch secretly recorded several of CNN's 9 a.m. morning editorial calls where CNN's president, Jeff Zucker, leads the anti-Trump charge. We're moving towards uh, 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 impeachment. I mean, don't, like... 
Okay, yeah, so this is going to get a little bit repetitive, and the, you know they're going to milk this for all it's worth. I just wanted to bring it to your attention that this is, you know, like they went and they actually got somebody from CNN and <laughs> really uh, had an, uh, oh, what's the name, had really did some investigating, and, you know, as you can hear, they have the, the calls, they have the tapes. So uh, it would be interesting to see if CNN responds to this, how it's going to play out. But I've just been saying since the beginning of this channel, even back to my other channel, how the media really doesn't have our best interest at heart. Like whenever you hear something on the news, even the things that you hear from me, I would always uh, encourage you to take f with a grain of salt and, you know, definitely look into it if you are so inclined, because they'll lie to you 10 times out of 10. And we have a lot of people who are just convinced that no matter who the dem is put forward they're going to be able to uh knock off trump because it was some so many people are so wrapped up in their own you know minds in their own psychoses that you know the uh, the way uh, empathy and uh empathy is just impossible for them to imagine you know so it's just like oh well why would anybody vote for this person and instead of actually listening to why people would vote for this person and i think cnn msnbc and you know just a lot of media uh a, a lot of media publications and outlets they have they've been under that mindset for the past three years and Mr. Zucker, I can't help but feel that's what's harming this country more than anything else. The the propaganda that CNN spews, the oh my goodness, the 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 the, the fear mongering and the alarm and the exploitation, which I covered in another video that nobody's watching. Why is no one watching that video? But it is what it is. I ain't even worried about it. So. With that being said, I'm going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, yeah, go ahead, do that too. I'm not scared of you. Sub, if you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to give videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you didn't like. Not fans. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Uh, do you trust CNN? I mean, like, we're like, you know what, audience? Let me know what your news sources are. I, I talk and show you guys what I'm paying attention to all the time from random blogs to the New York Times. I, I try to keep a very, um, just a, 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 a big swath of, uh, uh, uh content coming in and information and trying to decipher that information and disseminate it and break it down particularly when i do videos when it comes to you know larger issues so i mean i'm curious to know where you guys what do you guys watch what do you guys uh listen to what do you guys read i'm very curious in the comments so that's what they're there for and until the next one